we're looking forward to it. I think you'll have seen over the last few months we've roped the, the youth team boys into plenty of challenges and doing work for charity. We thought it was about time that the, the staff followed suit and got involved in something as well, so we're all looking forward to it. Some of the younger lads don't know it yet, but they also might get roped in, you say? Yeah, depending on how fixtures fall, you might see a couple of younger scholars or first team pros joining in the, the race as well. Uh, obviously, fixtures will determine their involvement, but we're going to try if we can to get them, get them roped in. What it's all about, is it about fitness or, or raising money for charity? Um, I think more importantly, it's about raising money for charity. We're constantly trying to remind our boys what a privileged position they're in uh, and that the responsibility they have to their local community as ambassadors. So we, wherever possible, we try and get them involved in, in community work. So that's what this is about rather than the actual fitness or the, the physical challenge. As a team, you're going to be referred to as the Blade Runners and you, you've managed to rope somebody else in as well, haven't you? Absolutely, yeah. Um, probably fitter than all of us, <laughs> Charlie Webster. Uh, with Del- that she's going to come and join us and lead the team. Um, she might be leading from quite a distance, I think, having looked at her track record of uh, exploits yeah, she's, and, she's done and quite activities. A bit before, just a little well. bit, yeah, just a little so bit. So you'll be, you'll be chasing, I think. Absolutely, yeah. Charlie, it just seems that you any excuse to get attached to the blaze, doesn't it? <laughs> I know, and I'm always here in my running shorts and my trainers. I, I need to come here in actual normal kit and just sit and watch the game and not try and run everywhere. Um, but yeah, to me, it means so much to be able to come back to Bramall Lane. I try and get up as much as I can, but I do live in London, so it's a little bit harder sometimes, especially on weekends. But I've been coming to Bramall Lane since I was four years old and try and get up as much as I can to support the Blades. How did this Great Yorkshire run come about? Well, I seem to be pretty attached to running <laughs> at the moment. Obviously, I ran the 250 miles at the beginning of yeah. the year where I came to Sheffield United. Yeah, I that, yeah. I, yeah, so do I, <laughs> unfortunately. Still remember the pain. And um, the opportunity to come and support the Great Yorkshire Run in my own community where I was brought up and try and inspire people to get fit and healthy. Um, but it's not just about running, it's just about the community and the sense of getting together and the sense of achievement it just makes you feel really good about yourself so the opportunity to come and help uh, promote that and actually run a 10k which I love doing um, and run it with some of the lads with as the well is brilliant boys, yeah. yeah it's so nice to be able to do that and be part of the Blade Runner team yeah. and of course it's going to be for charity we're still discussing which charity you're going to support but that's an added benefit isn't it yeah I think doing something like this it's always really good to get behind a charity um, obviously I support different charities I support Women's Aid and Centre Point which are national charities but something we wanted to do for this and part of the Blade Runner team is support a local charity so at the moment we're looking to do lo- local charities that are associated with both myself and the club and then it'll be announced in a couple of days Good luck. Thank you very much yes. yeah. <laughs>